the Awada HPC Plus. This airbrush is perfect for all round airbrushing. It's fantastic for detailing as well as automotive airbrushing. And it's just a great all round gravity feed brush. Let's take a look at it right now. So let's take a look at what's inside the box. Now, as with all the High Performance Plus series, they are all branded with this blue. On the back of the sleeve, we can see some information about the color cup. It's a 0.24 ounce or seven mil color cup. So your general size when it comes to a gravity cup. And this one's in the fine to medium range. And I know they've changed all this. That's one thing I don't like. They don't mention the needle nozzle size anymore. They just use this guide. However, from memory, this used to be a 0.3 mil. So I assume it still is. And upon doing some research, I was correct. This is a 0.3 mil, so nothing has changed which is a great size for all general airbrushing. So this is a gravity feed dual action airbrush, total control for fine detail spraying, H3 head system, 15 to 25 PSI optimal working pressure, quick flush cutaway preset handle. So let's take it out of the sleeve. And it comes with a sticker like all the Awada brushes, the gravity feed quick start guide. So basic airbrush info and how to use a gravity feed airbrush. The spray test, which is completed before the item ships. You get a tube of lube. I don't particularly use this, but you can if you wish. Just drop one drop behind your trigger and one drop on your needle. You get the Iwata spanner to remove your nozzle. Again, I don't use these. I use the Iwata nozzle wrench instead. It's much safer. But if you don't have one of those, then you can still use this to remove the nozzle. Just be very careful when you retighten it, not to snap the thread. And then you have the airbrush. Nice smooth trigger action, as you'd expect from all the Iwata brushes. The cutaway handle, and you can also wind this in to set how far your trigger will go back. So that'll stop the amount of paint flow. If you're just starting out, that's a really good feature. That's called the preset handle. The cutaway is just to dislodge any blockages and the lid just pops off and you can see how big that is. So that's seven mil capacity in there, which is ample for doing most projects. You'll also notice the breather hole in the top of the lid there, that needs to stay clear. If that blocks up, then you'll have trouble. It'll be intermittent spray. And just removing that air cap to expose the needle. Now this is a 0.3 mil needle. So you can see how fine that is. And this will be ample to do pretty much all of your airbrushing requirements. It will handle fine detail as well as general sort of broad spraying. Okay, so I'm gonna add some paint in here now. This is just some pre-mixed blue paint. Don't need to fill it all the way up, about half full, even that's heaps. And I'm gonna be running at about 20 PSI. Pop the lid back on and I like to remove the air cap to expose the needle. I find it makes it easier to monitor and maintain your tip drying. And also I can get finer detail because I can see exactly where I'm going. The only thing is don't drop your airbrush. So be very careful, always put it back in a holder. Starting off with some broad spray and you can see it's straight away nice and smooth. If I go and just spray in one spot. You can see we're getting a nice heavy spray. Finer detail. I'm gonna back off a little bit on the trigger. And you can see I can get a nice fine line. No problem at all. Really smooth, straight out of the box. It's the first time I've used it. So nice and close now. Steadying myself with my hand, pulling back a little bit, and I can do nice fine dots. Could even drop that PSI down a little bit. And for fine lines, you can really see how nice and easy that is. And if I thinned it out a bit more and reduced my PSI, I could go finer than that. So to fast track your learning, you can definitely check out our online airbrushing course at airbrushasylum.thinkific.com. Super smooth and no issue at all doing those fine lines. And if you want thicker lines, just come back a bit further. 
or up close for more defined and slightly thinner lines. Keeping that air press down at all times and just pulling back on the trigger finger. You really notice how smooth the awaters are. And I do like the trigger action. As soon as I pull back, there's no delay. It's just instant and responsive. So just an all-round great airbrush. Perfect for fine detail, even broader spray. You're not going to have that much trouble with tip drying because it runs a 0.3 mil needle. And just super smooth and very comfortable airbrush to hold as well. So I think you'll agree that the Awada HPC Plus is one versatile airbrush and can be used for a variety of different applications. And if you don't have one in your collection, maybe you should consider grabbing yourself one.